It's something about these one pan meals that I just cannot stay away from. And this particular one, man, is going to be top of your list. I'm going to show you guys how to make a one pan jerk chicken. You ready? Let's go. <music> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me tell you what we have right here. Right here, I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Now, you don't have to use boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Actually, you can use whatever piece of chicken you want. You can have a bone in, bone out, or skin on, skin off. It's totally up to you. This is my preference. So don't jump in and say, oh, Jamaican, they don't do this. Shut up, it's my preference, all right? W sauce, red kidney beans, I've drained them, a red onion, some rice, chopped garlic, chicken broth, unsweetened coconut milk, olive oil, some chopped green onions, salt and pepper. I'm also using a red bell pepper, guys. This is totally optional, but I want to put some red bell peppers in mine. And right here, I have some wet Jamaican jerk seeds. Now, I prepared this on my own. If you have some Jamaican jerk seasoning yourself, you can use that, but I prepared my own. I'll show you guys in the video description how I prepared it. All right, so these are the ingredients. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is prepare our chicken using our wet Jamaican jerk seasoning. Now guys, if you don't have this, you can make your own just dry J Jamaican jerk seasoning. That'll work too. But I like that wet seasoning, man. It just adds a little bit more flavor. You just wanna put it in like that. And get that mixed up like this. When I made this seasoning, I tasted a little bit, man, and it was fire. So you wanna make sure you get all this mix on your chicken pieces. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our salt and pepper also, and we're gonna add that also in here. And we wanna continue to get that mix like that. All right, so we're gonna sit this aside, let those ingredients penetrate that chicken for about 30 minutes, then we're gonna come right back. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna turn our cooktop on. We're going to bring this up to a medium heat. We're going to add our olive oil. And right when you see that oil starts to shimmer, we're going to start adding our... Guys, I'm going to cook these one at a time because when you overcrowd it, what it does is it results to your chicken starting to steam rather than giving you that nice sear. I want this thing to sear like this. I want that color on the side like that so we can get exactly what we're looking for. Got that color that we're looking for right here. So I'm gonna start removing them, putting these in a bowl or on a plate, and we're gonna let them rest while we continue to cook our other pieces. All right, so we're finishing up our last piece of chicken right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this, pause our heat. We're gonna sit our thighs aside and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wipe off this pan and we're gonna go ahead and continue. All right, so now we're gonna start by adding our onions, our peppers, and then our green onions. And we're gonna cook these for around three minutes until they soften. All right, so now we're about three, three minutes in and we're gonna start adding our garlic. We're gonna cook this for an additional minute. Get those flavors all incorporated. All right, so we're about a minute in. We're gonna add our rice, our salt and pepper, and our beans. And we're gonna stir this, let it cook for about two minutes. All right, so now we're gonna add our chicken broth along with our coconut milk and our W sauce. Get these ingredients all incorporated. All right, so now we're gonna step back over and we're gonna start adding our chicken pieces back here to our pan. We're gonna add them to the top. all those nice juices to the pan, just like that. And guys, I'm gonna take a step farther. I have some dry Jamaican jerk seasoning and I'm just gonna sprinkle it on the top of our chicken like that for some added flavor. You can also probably 
sprinkle a little bit here in the mixture just to let it cook into that mixture like that i'm okay with that maybe a little bit over the top for some but right on point for me all right so we brought that to a slight boil we're going to turn our heat off we're going to take a lid we're going to cover it up now i've already preheated my oven to 350 degrees we're going to place it in our oven and we're going to let it cook for 20 to 25 minutes we want that liquid to absorb and we're going to make sure that our chicken is cooked through and the rice is tender all right let's get it in the oven all right so we are 25 minutes in let's remove this lid you probably can already see through it but let's get a good look at that 3d version man take a look at that right there guys this looks delicious but before we you know go ahead and end it off we're going to add some color to it so i have some more green onions here that we can add to the top for garnishment and I also got a little cilantro that we can play with also. And there you have it, guys. One pan jerk chicken. Let me know what you think about this recipe in the comment section below. Guys, I'm going to leave the measurements and ingredients in the video description below. Let's go ahead and jump into quality control because I'm ready to test this out. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're back in here. Quality control time. Look at that. I ain't even been talking. Bruh, listen. Bruh. All right. Oh, man, it's rice. Oh, my goodness. God, the rice. Good. I'm going to tell you, I'm not even a coconut milk fan. You can't, can't taste it. Probably because it's unsweetened, but this is delicious. Let's go ahead and let's try what the, the meat tastes like. Y'all are missing out. Mm. And before I go, I know I'm gonna have people in the comments saying, that ain't authentic jerk chicken. Oh, yeah, 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 shut up. It's jerk flavor. I ain't say it was authentic. It's a jerk chicken, one pot meal, all right? Knock it off. And until then, I'm your cook, Spinelli, all wings, everything. And remember, y'all, I'm not a chef. I just cook a lot. And I'm out. Peace. Mm -hmm.